Hey fellow enthusiasts, this is Tommy Lanham and I am on a mission to break the monotony of the mundane and mediocre by bringing as much enthusiasm to as many businesses, ministries, marriages, and individual lives as I possibly can. Welcome to Duct Tape Devotions. Hey guys, I want to share with you today a passage of scripture from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. And it says this, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Now let's just kind of unpack that a little bit. First of all, it says that we are God's workmanship. We are created by God for a specific purpose. We are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works. That means God has prepared us, has made us to do a specific task. And then it even goes on to say this, that God prepared in advance for us to do. God already had in mind what he wanted you and me to do for him. You see, you are not an accident. I am not an accident. God created us for a specific purpose. A purpose that was laid out before you or I were ever born. We're not here by accident. It's not just a random choice that, that we're here. We are here by divine design. God has put us here in this time, at this time, in our own generation to fulfill the purpose that he had planned out for us before we were ever born. I love that word workmanship. In one translation, they use the word craftsmanship. We are God's craftsmanship, meaning he has crafted us. Reminds me of my dad when he used to make birdhouses. I was probably a young teenager at that time, and he would make these beautiful birdhouses. He would sell them. He did this commercially. And when he would create these birdhouses, they would look perfect to me, yet he would continue to look over them and to find little blemishes, find things that, that needed to be improved, find out where he, he needed to sand some things down and smooth it out and repaint it and touch it up. He would find this. Why? Because he was a craftsman. He created those birdhouses, and those birdhouses were a reflection of him. My mom would be hollering from upstairs, Hey guys, it's time to eat. The food's getting cold. We'll be up here in a minute. And he would look over it one more time just to make sure everything was just right. I feel like God does that with us. He's continually looking at us, looking at ways that he can, he can sand out the rough edges, where he could touch us up just a little bit because he's created us for a specific task. He has crafted us into what he wants us to be. There's another uh, translation that uses the phrase, a work of art. We are a work of art that God has created, that God has put together. Whether it's a birdhouse or a painting or a song, he has created us as a work of art. Matter of fact, some translations even use the word masterpiece. You are a masterpiece of God. When I think of masterpiece, I think of something that has great, great value. Listen, I believe there's something that you do better than most other people. Why? Because God created you to do something better than most other people. You may have already discovered what that something is and you're working on that, you're developing that, you're practicing that. Or maybe you're at a stage in life where you don't have a clue what that may be. You are a masterpiece of God. The actual Greek word, which is what the New Testament was originally written in, the actual Greek word is poema. And it's where we get our English word, poem. We are the poetry of God. When I think of poetry, again, I think of something that's extremely valuable. Good poetry will take us to a place where we may have never been before. We have that value. We have that power. We are that masterpiece of God. So when you think of yourself, do not think of yourself as, 
is I can't do this or think of yourself as somebody that I don't deserve this or that's not me or I can't do this. There's nothing special about me. There's nothing valuable about me. Listen, God is a great creator. He does not create anything that does not have value. And he created you. He created you as a masterpiece full of value. You may not have discovered it yet, but it's there. I've heard stories of paintings that were found in attics. They've been up in attics for years and years and years. And people discover them and they bring them out and, and an expert looks at it and they go, man, you have a masterpiece here. And they end up selling that for millions of dollars. But you know what? When it was in the attic, nobody knew the value. The value was not yet discovered. Doesn't mean it wasn't valuable. It was. The value had just not been discovered yet. I believe the same is true in your life. You may not have discovered that value yet, but it's still there. God created value when He created you. You are a masterpiece of God. And when you get in that mindset, when you frame things in that light, it will absolutely ignite your enthusiasm. If you want to be a part of the fellow enthusiast community, one of the best ways to do that is to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below. I know you want to do it. Go ahead. Do it now. It will ignite your enthusiasm. Come on.